Breast Cancer Awareness Month is coming up, uh, but it really should be something that's on the minds of everyone all the time. Of course, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, where a lot of campaigns are underway to uh, get that front and center in people's minds. Uh, for those of you out there who have been diagnosed and you have a family member that's been diagnosed, this hits close home. Uh, there's no question, but uh, we need to make sure that we get screenings done uh, because early detection can really save lives and uh, get people where they need to be uh, in their uh, their better overall health. Well, to talk about some screening opportunities, free screening opportunities, we're joined by Kayla Kerbach. She is with the Sangamon County Department of Public Health, a nurse navigator. And uh, Kayla, we've got some exciting things going on all throughout October with mammograms and screenings. Talk about that. Yes, yes. Ma- free mammogram Monday in October, and there's five of them. That's great. Um, The Memorial Hospitals are doing them, Lincoln, Decatur, Jacksonville, Springfield. St. John's should be called to see with their, you know, computer hacking. It's last I heard was questionable, but they might get it together. They usually do. So hopefully they will. But nice opportunities for women to not have an excuse to get a screening. It's free. Call the hospitals, you know, get scheduled. And also our program, the Illinois Breast and Cervical Cancer Program, that's what I, I'm a nurse navigator for it. We pay for screenings and diagnostics for women who don't have insurance to pay for those. We don't want anyone not getting those things done. And you're right, it can save lives. So who's eligible for this? Is it because uh, we know that there's yes. a certain age for when screenings become routine, even for mm-hmm. men. Uh, there's a certain age for when like prostate screenings. Can yes, happen, right? yes. Um, the guidelines so, kind of guide us. And, yeah. yeah. So who's Who's eligible for uh, the the mammogram Mondays? Well, I would say people 40 and older, um, but any young woman who becomes symptomatic, uh, call call me. If you don't have insurance to cover, you know, to get checked out, get diagnostics, the Illinois Breast and Cervical Cancer Program pays for screenings and diagnostics, even through the biopsy, and they don't pay a penny. And Greg, I don't know if I mentioned this last year when I was on here, but if a woman gets breast cancer out of our program or in our program, either way, if we get word that this has happened, we can get them a medical card from the Health Care and Family Services Department of the state, and it pays for all their treatment and follow-up, no matter what their income is. So, so don't let that be a barrier to you getting checked out, all right? There are mm-hmm. definitely stopgap measures uh, that uh, are provided through the Sangamon County Public Health Departments and also through uh, the state's various uh, agencies. Uh, there's no excuse, quite frankly, for no people excuse. not to get uh, get that screening. <laughs> no, and I'd like to tell you the counties that the public health department covers that we cover. Please. Uh, Cass, DeWitt, Logan, Macon, Mason, Menard, Morgan, Pyatt, and Shelby, along with Sangamon, are the 10 counties that our lead agency covers, but it's all over Illinois. So if you live outside of one of those counties, you're welcome to call me at the public health department here in Sangamon County, but also, and I can tell you, you know, who to connect to um, for their program. You know, it's uh, absolutely yeah. essential that you, you don't let the possibility of bad news impact your health decisions uh, mm-hmm. because you you need to be armed with that information you need to be armed uh, with uh, with the knowledge that uh, hey you've got this uh, this this condition could be a chronic condition but regardless um, not doing mm-hmm. anything about it can can lead to yes. some bad outcomes yes yes definitely um, yeah so and we work 24 7 365 days we're um, we're a program that will pay for any woman who doesn't have insurance to cover their screenings and or diagnostics so I do need to be called I will get you enrolled and um, it's an easy process doesn't matter what your income is you can receive these free services if insurance does not pay for them Kayla Kerbach with us from the Sangamon County Department of Public Health, a nurse navigator, uh, and uh, Mammogram Mondays coming up. And there's five opportunities because there's five Mondays in October. <laughs> uh, so, again, give us uh, just the, the general, uh, uh, you know, what people need to know uh, to get scheduled for those Mammogram Mondays. Yes. Um, like I said, Jacksonville, Decatur, Lincoln, Springfield. Um, Those are the ones in my territory that are doing it, and possibly St. John's. Just call that hospital. Ask to schedule a free mammogram in October. They'll connect you to the right department and get on the schedule. They do fill up quick. 
So, um, yeah, don't miss it. Don't miss out it. on it. No <laughs> question. So you've got plenty of head, you know, head start here. Uh, Mammogram Monday. There's still you know, a few days here before we get to the first Monday of October. Uh, but there's going to be five opportunities for you to take advantage of that. Mm-hmm. And I strongly encourage you to. Husbands out there, listen. All right. Uh, get this bug into your, your wife's brain. Uh, let them know <laughs> that it's important that they get checked for this. Because, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, the statistics are, are pretty staggering. What is it? One out of eight women uh, get diagnosed. Okay. Breast, breast cancer. cancer yes that is correct That's pretty wild yeah and if you miss the free mammogram monday that you call they're booked up call the health department ask for the breast and cervical cancer program i will enroll you and get your free screening <laughs> either way and, <laughs> You're uh, good. kayla how can people get a hold of the uh, sangamon county department of public health well the number is 217-535-3102 and then the, my extension is 3756. So but if they call that 535-3102, that's personal health, they can ask for the breast and cervical cancer program too. So Fantastic. Either way. Kayla, <laughs> thank you so much for taking time with us today and letting us know this important information. Thank you, Greg, very much. It is Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk, now 830. And come-